Okay, let's look at new column sort features, which allows you to sort in the dashboard multiple columns. It allows you to filter them. And most importantly, this works at high speeds and large scales with large data sets. So if we open up a dashboard, I'm gonna look at these incident reports and I'm gonna sort them by date first. So I'm gonna do the most recent first. And then I'm also gonna uh, sort them by incident priority. So what's cool that you can in a live dashboard nest uh, these incidents. And then I can go back and say, okay, I wanna get the top uh, 10 of these. And I just right click and filter rows. And then we filter those incidents. And then we can go in and look closer at that. Uh, the, it's pretty cool how this is working. It uses uh, CPU, CPU multi-threading, and GPU. So when you get, uh, you have a lot of users doing a lot of sorting, it's obviously very stressful for a dashboard uh, system. It's putting a lot of load on the server, and this is where the performance is really important. Uh, also, we can apply this at the transmission line level. So if I want to go and say, Oh, let's get the uh, longest lines here. And we're just gonna get the top, uh, uh, let's say 30 uh, lines here. Again, right click, filter, and you're able to see the largest lines there. And you can go and sort of flip around the order of these filtering operations. You can do selections within them. You can nest um, filtering, which is very powerful.